in eukaryotic cells, the stages of the cell cycle are divided into two major phases. They are interphase and the M phase. Eukaryotic phase cells enter into the cell cycle through G1 phase. In the G1 phase, cells make more organelles and synthesize proteins and enzymes. From the G1 phase, cells go to the S phase. Cells replicate DNA in the S phase. Then cells go to G2 phase. The main function of this phase is cell growth. In the G2 phase, cells double check the duplicated chromosome and make any needed repair. In interphase, the cell has a nuclear envelope. The nucleus contains one or more nucleoli. Two centrosomes are formed by duplication of a single centrosome. Each centrosome contains two centrioles. Chromosomes duplicated during the S phase cannot be seen individually because they have not yet condensed. After the interface, they undergo the mitosis division. Mitosis division contains four phases prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. In the prophase, chromosome fibers become tightly coiled. The nucleoli disappear. Each duplicated chromosome contains two sister chromatids. They join at the centromere. The mitotic spindles begins to form from centrosome and microtubules. After the radial arise microtubules begins to form. Not only that, centrosome move away from each other. After the prophase, prometaphase is occur. In the prometaphase, nuclear envelope fragment. The microtubules extending from each centrosome. Chromosome have become even more condensed. Some of microtubules attach to the kinetochores. They are called kinetochore microtubules. What is the kinetochore? Kinetochore is the special type of protein structure located at the center of meal. After the prometaphase, metaphase is occurs. In the metaphase, the spindle fibers push and pull sister chromatids until they are all arranged in the metaphase plate. What is metaphase plate? Metaphase plate is imaginary plate equidistant from the poles. It defines in the Metaphase. After the metaphase, cell undergoes anaphase. Anaphase is the shortest stage of mitosis. Centromere is formed by cohesin protein. Anaphase begins when the cohesin protein are cleavered. The this allows the two sister chromatids of each pair two parts. Each chromatid thus become an independent chromosome. The two new daughter chromosomes begin moving towards opposite ends of the cell as their kinetochore microtubules are attached at the cent centromere region. The centromere region, the centromere are pulled ahead of the arms. The cell elongates as the non kinetochore microtubules length. By the end of the anaphase, the two ends of the cell have equivalent and complete collections of chromosomes. After the anaphase, scalophase is occur. Two daughter nuclei form in the cell. Nuclear envelopes arise from the fragments of the parent cell's nuclear envelope and other portions of the endomembrane system. Nucleoli reappear. The chromosomes become less condensed. Any remaining spindle microtubules are depolymerized. Mitosis, the division of one nucleus into two genetically identical daughter nuclei, is now complete.
the cytoplasm divided by the process of cytokinesis forming two separate daughter cells. The division of cytoplasm is usually well underway by late telophase, so the two daughter cells appear shortly after the end of mitosis. In animal cells, cytokinesis involves the formation of cleavage furrow which pinch the cell in two. The cytokinesis in plant cell is markedly different. Uh, there is no cleavage flow. Plant cell produce the cell plate which divide the cytoplasm in two to growing towards the perimeter of the parent cell.